updating ourselves a little further, let's talk a little bit about what exactly, you know, you mean when you talk about picks and axes. I mean, I understand that that you you know you you promote the analogy of the gold mining era, and and I agree with that. But you know, what does it mean to be picks and axes in the context of the blockchain or Web 3.0? Yeah, I mean, I think there are. There's, you know, a perfect example for us is Cloudflare, right? Where that's a huge company that nobody hears about because it's kind of back behind the scenes. And there's a tremendous amount of money always in every new market to be made in the plumbing of, of, uh, of, what's, of, of the new thing that's happening. And so uh, it's not that we would ignore, uh, you know, something that's more at the forefront, but um, but there's a lot of juice in that in that back office. Yeah, it's so easy, and we're not here to talk about Bitcoin. It, it, it's no, not no. particularly relevant. Um, but it's so easy to measure success when when price goes up and down. But yeah. with venture capital, it doesn't move like that, not on a daily basis, right? Um, which makes it a little bit tougher. A little, you require a little more patience um yes. and 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 definitely a lot more strategy um yeah i mean we're most venture capital funds are on a 10-year time horizon right and so honestly a company can just suck for five years you know as long as it's as long as it takes off in that time horizon you're great 